As you can see in this worksheet, we have captured the steps in the funnel with some additional customer touch points where you want the customer to do something once they arrive on your website. Download a brochure, share the email, add items to the card. Pick one where the denominator is the number of original count of people who arrive at your website, the impressions. And second, where the denominator is the number of people who completed the call to action at the previous level in the funnel. Let's first calculate the conversion rates based on the number of visitors to the website. So we have a column, conversion rates based on impression, and here it shows you the formula that I'm using. And you're going with B4 divided by B3. And I'm going to just leave this as a cell so you can see. And here it's, it's B5 divided by B3 and B6 divided by B3. So you can see that 43% roughly of the people who saw the actual ad downloaded the brochure and of them 19% arrived on this, who arrived on the site added items to the cart. And so 8% of the people who arrived on the website actually purchased the item. Now let's calculate the conversion rates based on the number of people who completed the call to action at the previous level in the funnel. I have the formula here so that you can track what I'm doing. Here, this will be B4 divided by B3 because that's the earlier step. So people arrived on the website and then they downloaded the brochure, 43%, so that matches what's in the conversion rate based on the impression. But next, you're gonna go B5 is divided by the number of people who downloaded the brochure. And number of people who purchased the item are act based on the number of people who added the items. So let's just reduce the number of decimals here. So you can see this indicates that 45% of the people who downloaded the brochure added the items to the cart and of those 39% actually purchased the item.